Hello and welcome to a Geeky Bit tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to make a VGA to Macintosh video cable. So we're going to need some things before we get going. First, we'll need a soldering iron, and then of course solder. Then we'll need a 15 pin connector, and lastly, a VGA cable. Sadly, here's where I'm going to cheap out a little bit on the tutorial. As the cable I got did not come with all of the needed wires to wire it up in a way that I feel is appropriate, but it does function when I get it done. Obviously, I'm doing the work right now. However, for you making your own, I highly recommend going down into the video description and going to those links, getting the pinout sheets, and then making your own based off of that. Here we're going to speed up the rest of this so you can see all of my solder work. Okay, now that we're done with that, here we have the housing, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And here you go. This is what it looks like all put together. As you can see, the cable looks very professional. I'm very happy with how it turned out. All right, let's take a moment to test it out and see how my cable works. As you can see, the video quality is pretty decent. Now keep in mind, my quality is less than what you would get if you have all of the cables. I had to route all of the ground pins to the V-Sync ground because that's the only ground in this particular cable I bought. So you might wonder why would you need a cable like this? Well, these cables come in really handy if you obviously have an older Macintosh with one of those 15 pin style connectors like this that you can plug it directly into that and into a more modern monitor that uses VGA. Now as the video output isn't too bad on the cables I have, I will be putting a few of them up for sale and you can find the link in the description below as to where to buy these if you are interested in doing so. I know this tutorial was a little shorter but that's because you should really look down in the description below, print out the pinouts and the guide to how to make the cable itself. It is very important that you do that because your cable may be different than mine. Things that you can also do if you don't know what pin is connected to what is use a multimeter in continuity mode so you can test which cables the pins are actually going to. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And if so, feel free to click that like button. And if you aren't subscribed so already, feel free to do so. And if you'd like to get notifications of my future videos, click that bell button.